Hi Views, and in this video we're going to actually create a loft but instead of using individual sketches we're using one's profile sketch which is this one here and actually making that follow this path so we can create a path array with one profile and then loft across that path like so now there is some gotchas with this one and we'll go to, into those once we get into the video if you like this video please hit a like and also subscribe to the channel I also have a Ko-Fi site where you can actually donate to my contributions to the community and that's at ko-fi.com slash mang0 we come in by creating a new document the first thing I want to do is create the profile sketch so I'm going to come into sketch out and create a profile in this sketch I'm just going to go full screen on here so you can actually see what I'm doing there we go. So come up to here and we're creating a new sketch. And I'm going to place that on the XY plane. Okay, that. Now on the XY plane, I'm going to create a simple profile in here. I'm going to use the B spline. And I'm just going to create a teardrop profile. Zoom in here, you can see that I've actually stopped away from the point here. So I'm going to hit escape and hit escape again so my mouse pointer is back. And I'm going to select those two points and join those with a constraint. So that is our profile that we're going to use. It's just a simple profile. Now, what I want to do is creates the path that this profile is going to actually go along. So we're going to close this. I'm going to rename the sketch to profile. So that's my rename sketch. So let's now create the actual path. So I'm going to create a new sketch. And you can see it's asking me what orientation I want this sketch on. Now I want this sketch to run actually through this profile so I'm going to create a, a path that runs through this profile so the profile is perpendicular to that path so we'll need the YZ plane so you can see that one there so that means that that will run along there hit OK you can see the profile sitting on the sketch there so we need to actually run a path across this. So click click on the B spline again. So we're going to use the path. Now I'm just going to make a simple path to run this across. Okay, I'm going to hit escape to get the actual path there. Hit escape again, and I've got my points back. So that's the path I want that to follow. And if I move this around, you can see that that's actually gone through the actual profile. So next we're going to have to jump into the actual draft workbench, but before that I'm going to close and I'm just going to rename this sketch to path. And now I can jump into my draft. Now we're in the draft, we actually can create an array of this profile across this path. So the first thing I need to do is select the profile, hold down shift, select the path. So those two are selected now. Go up to draft and go path array. And that's placed that profile across that path and it's placed four of them across there. You can see the four there. And if I come down here, you can see under draft, I've got count and I can change that to whatever number I want. So I'm gonna have six. Just click off another input there and you can see the six have gone along there. Now the problem is, is that we can't use this to do a loft with. I can't loft this with a path array because the path array will have to be converted down to an actual sketches, separate sketches. Now we can do this, but we're going to hit a number of problems. So let's start by first selecting the path array 
and then we're still in our draft workbench and we we'll select draft and we want upgrade so that will upgrade that path you can see that's gone now that the path array to faces so we now have got these faces along this actual path from there we can actually convert that to a sketch to so actually use it in our loft so to do that we got the faces actually selected now the problem what's going to happen is that when we convert this we go to draft and go to draft to sketch those have actually been converted to sketches but we've lo lost one of the actual coordinates on there you can see the sketches all sitting there because they've actually been placed on the plane of the sketch itself and we've actually lost the coordinate we've actually lost the coordinate on the position along the z-axis so if I increase the z-axis you can see that this will actually match one of these actual profiles that will be the end of one here so what we've got to do is now move all these into position but we can actually move these quite easily but if we click one and then click on the move tool or the draft move we actually can select our sketch and then select our face and it will actually move it to there so select the sketch hit the move tool click once and then it will look like it's become mobile and then you actually can ma match the uh, face to the actual sketch click again and it will move so we can zoom in for a bit more accuracy if we so desire click the sketch click move so let sketch and move it there and we'll just repeat for all the all the others so that's good so I'm happy with that they're not 100% perfect but for this demonstration that will be okay so now we can actually get rid of these faces we can't use faces for a loft in the part design and I'll show you the reason in a minute so I'm just going to hide those for a second now I'm going to jump over to the part design and create a body already got my sketches made so I can jump over to the model and I'm coming to this body here and what I'm going to do is I'm going to move all the sketches click on the first sketch click on the last sketch and then I can drag those into the body what I'm going to do is just zoom out slightly so I've got this on screen so I can see what I'm doing and then I can click on my body either click on the uh, toolbar loft selected profile for other profile selections or go up to part design and go to additive loft and you can see it's asked me which one I want to use as the first so I can actually go through here and select the first one so let's start from this side so I'll actually select it on the screen there ok that and then we can add the selections here so I'll click click add click on the next one click it and you get the loft go through add selection click add selection click and you keep on going until you're going through all of the sections and that's lofted all the way through there 
and has created our loft across the path. So if I click OK, you can now see that we've got now a lofted section, like so. What I'm going to do now is actually get rid of the loft. So I'm going to remove this loft. Our sketches are still available in our body. I'm going to show you how that using the actual faces you can't actually loft through these faces. So remember before we had a single object that was a path array. We couldn't actually use that to loft against because there's a single sketch that's actually created that. So it's an array of sketches, but the sketches aren't actually available. So we had to convert those into the faces with the upgrade. Now, if I try to place these faces inside the body, we're gonna get a base feature there. And this base feature we can't actually use for a loft. See, it's asking always for a sketch. So you can't actually use that for a loft. So you can't use the faces or the base feature for a loft. So that's the reason why you have to convert to a sketch to actually get that working. We can also select the starting sketch. So if I get rid of my faces first, because I've actually selected a face, so if I select all those, hit space, space on that one. It's another tip, if you go in here, select them all, hit space, that will actually display and hide each time you hit space. If you've got alternative faces selected, say something like this, if you come in here and select them, hit space, what will happen is that the ones that are hidden will be made visible and ones that are visible will be made hidden and I want them all hidden so I'm gonna select those hide them all so with all these sketches if we select our starting one first and then go to the loft tool you'll see it will just dump us straight into the second window that we saw before where we are adding our selections. This is because our first one has been selected. So we can add our selections there. Also when we're adding these selections, you can actually remove selections as well. So if I remove this one and this one you see that I've removed this section first and then I started removing these two and it's actually snapped back there so if I add a section and then remove sections you can see them being added and removed And that's how you would actually use a path with an array of profiles. The only problem what we had is when we used the sketch, they all grouped on top of each other, but we just moved those to where the faces were before. We can actually get rid of these faces if you so desire, or we could actually modify these so if I got rid of my loft again, let's get rid of this loft so we've, and the actual sketches. So I'm gonna leave the body in there and I'm just gonna show all these faces again. What I can do is actually come in and modify the actual scaling of these faces to make one bigger or some smaller. For instance, so I've got this face here. If I jump back into the actual draft 
and at the moment you can see that we've only got placement down here we haven't got actual scale or size so we can scale and let me just come in here I've got our shape here so I'm gonna click a point and I'm going to scale this up by a factor of two like so and this will actually create a clone on this okay that now the problem we got is I know that's in position which is fine our scale is down here so this will take the place of face free so you must remember that we also can actually scale down we cannot do that from your scale because the scale takes a whole number but the only way to actually take get it to take a fraction or a decimal number is to come into the actual scale itself and actually work with the scale here so I can actually put in, put 1.5 in here and 1.5 here to actually shrink that down like so and then you must remember that when you convert these faces so I now no longer need this face and get rid of that take these faces and I've got to take the scale as well so I've just clicked the face hold down shift click under face 5 took my finger off the shift moved over to the scale hold down to the control hit scale then we've got all of those and then we can actually come into here and use our convert by directionally between draft and sketch objects or we can go up to the top and use the same one which is named differently on the menu draft to sketch click on that and then we have to go through and move these in position again so you can see they're all sitting there and it's a case of coming in clicking out one click and move clicking it and then placing it in place like so and repeating for all the rest and then using once we've got them in position we then go back and create the addit additive loft across the two so what I'm going to do now is just click on the faces hide those, click on the scale and hide it take the sketches drop those into the body jump over to the part design We've already got the body there click the loft select one of the sketches click OK add selection and select each of the sketches as we move across and you can see the larger one there I'll finish with the last one well I hope you enjoyed that video and please look out for some more and I'd just like to thank my current donators who have donated via my Ko-Fi site I hope to see you again and bye for now. Stay safe.